absolute coordinates. That's what I use in light burn, and I've had a lot of people ask me, why do you do that? Why don't you just use current position or use user origin? Well, I have a couple reasons. Uh, number one, to me, absolute coordinates is easiest to use, and that's what I'm most familiar with. Now, I have done current position on certain projects, but for the most part, I use absolute coordinates. Every one of my lasers, with the exception of my uh, Monfort 40 uh, CO2 laser, has a layout grid. Every one of them. I, I make sure I do that on all my lasers. I can position my work directly dead center. I'll lay it out in light burn directly dead center and everything is good to go and I'll get the same identical results every time. So exactly what is uh, absolute coordinates and how do you set it up? I'll take you on the computer here, give you a very, very short tutorial on it. Uh, this is aimed towards the uh, raw beginner. If you're familiar with working in light burn, this is going to be like boring. So yeah, you, this probably isn't for you. But if you're a beginner and just get in the light burn and don't understand the differences between user origin, current position, and absolute coordinates, I hope this explains it pretty quick. Okay, so here I am in light burn and I've got this open to a project I just did a video on here just a little bit ago. And as you can see, I've got this uh, door sign in here. And what I'm going to do right now is I'm just going to move it. So let's say I just drug this in here. This little guy up here will put that in the center of my work area, as you can see there. And I am starting over here, as you can see on the right hand side, from absolute coordinates. And my job always, origin is always from center. That's up to you what you want to do there. Uh, it's, it's kind of a moot point when you're using absolute coordinates. But here then when I, as you can see, I've got a lot of stuff in the peripheral out here. I got all kinds of other files out here and ornaments and parts and pieces and stuff. And that's fine when you're working from absolute coordinates because it only looks at what's in this work area right here. And this work area has to be for the MechPow 10 watt, but uh, it's same with any laser. It'll be inside the work area only. Anything that's outside, it, it just ignores. So if I were to look at uh, how long it's gonna take to cut this out, and it's set up for a 10 watt light, it's going to be kind of long. It's taken an hour and four minutes and 27 seconds to cut that out. As you can see, it's only looking at what's inside the work area. Now, what if I change this to current position? Of course, there again, working from center, I've got all this stuff around the peripheral because I like to, I just like to do this. It, no, you don't have to. You could have all the stuff in the library too, but for me, it's just handy since I work from the absolute coordinates. Now if I looked at how long it would take to cut this, now it's looking at everything out there. And we're looking at almost eight hours. So yeah, you don't want to do that. Now what if I change this to user origin? And I move the, and I set my coordinates, and we're not going to go into how to do that. but And then I go up here to look at this. Again, it's looking at everything. So that's why I uh, use absolute coordinates most of the time. Now if I have something uh, in particular I need to start from a very, very certain area on it, I will use current position. In that case, um, let's say I, well, I have to open a new file for this. Okay, let's say I want to engrave this on a uh, board. And it's uh, in a particular spot on the board and I can't get it exactly in the center of my workspace and uh, just to, for fun here we'll, we'll make a board. So here's a board we want to put that on I'll set that as a toolpath. So here then I want to take my graphic and I'm going to move it into this space here. Now I will set my, I'm set on current position so what I would do is find the center of this board by, uh, I would probably go from diagonals and make an X on it so that the laser would be centered directly in the center of this. And of course we're not going to cut this, we're, this is going to be in a grave uh, fill. And uh, never mind the speeds and everything over there, but just to give you an example, of course it, it's 
not going to see the tool path. When you go to frame, it'll frame around that. But as you can see, the green dot is right in the center because I am working from center. Now, if I would change my job origin to the lower left, then it would start from down here. This is where I would use one of the rare times I use current position. Again, I generally work from center, find the center of my part, and uh, set the laser head there. And then the uh, time for this, as you can see, it's uh, 24 minutes, 53 seconds. And it would engrave and fill just that area. So I hope that kind of answers the question on the difference between current position. Uh, and I'm not going to get into user origin. I just, I just don't use that one. And absolute coordinates. Uh, again, absolute coordinates. I'd be working like this. I'd move this whole thing here to the center of my work area, and I would hit it from there. There's just a brief rundown on the difference between absolute coordinates and current position. Uh, so occasionally I do use current position, although it's rare. 99% of the time I work up off of absolute coordinates, and again, because all of my lasers have a layout grid on the base, it's very, very easy for me to get repetitive results without having to fool around. So hope that answers uh, questions I get on why do you use absolute coordinates. Well, that's why. So we got anything out of this. Appreciate getting a thumbs up. Always helps the channel. I'm Roger in the loft above the shop. Thanks for watching. See you on the next one.